In this lesson, I will explain to you greedy best fit search in artificial intelligence, how it works. It comes under the algorithm of informed search technique, and we will use heuristic approach here. What is the meaning of heuristic approach? It means estimation, right? Estimation. So here is the model. My goal is that I have to start my journey from point A and I have to reach at E. This is my ending point. And you can see that we have different routes here. These are the actual cost. From A to B, the actual cost is 2. From A to C, the actual cost is 7 and so on. But as we are using the heuristic approach, we are not going to use the actual cost. We will use the heuristic that is called the estimation cost. So the estimation cost from point A to E is 11. Estimation cost from B to E is 8 and so on. So forget about the actual cost. Only we have to consider the heuristic approach here. How we will start? We will start from the point A. And you can see that from point A, we have two routes. One is going to B and the second is going to C. Right? So what is the heuristic value of B and C? B is 8. You can write down here. And the heuristic value of C is 4. So we will write down here. Then we have to see which one is lower, which cost is lower. In this case, we have 4. C, right? C is lower than the B cost. So we will expand this. Forget about this. Right. I have made these two routes only to show you. If you want, you can make like this A and see which cost is lower, 8 or 4. C, so you can go directly to C. But here I am going to explain to you how it works. So now we have to expand C. So C, C, from C we have two routes. One is going to D and other is going to E, which is our ending point, E. What is the heuristic cost? See here 5. Heuristic cost of E is 0 because from E to E it is 0. Ending point and starting point is always 0. Right? So here it means here is E. There is no need to write down D but here I am going to explain you how it works. So our route is from A to C, C from A to C and then C to E. Here you can see it is very interesting thing is here in this case, see from A to E, from A to E have our heuristic cost which is we write like this which is 11 and our actual cost, right? Our actual cost F of N is also 11. C from A to C is 7 and C to E because we are following this route. So actual cost and the heuristic cost both are equal. In this case, it is not necessary that in always it should be equal. No, in this case it is equal. If our actual cost is equal to the heuristic cost, it means this is the optimal solution. We have used the precise route and this is the optimal solution. So it means that F of N means actual cost can be equal to the heuristic cost if we have the optimal solution. Other, other things are that our heuristic cost may be less than actual cost that is also acceptable. Right? When our heuristic cost is less than actual, that is acceptable. It means we have used some other nodes as well. But heuristic cost can never be greater than actual. If this is the case, it means this is not the optimal solution. It can be equal. In this case, it is equal. Right? I will show you one more example where we will see is less than. So simply we can say that our heuristic cost will be less than or equal to the 
actual cost this is the admissible factor we write x in you can see in the book h star n means this is the actual cost heuristic cost can be less than or equal to the actual cost but not greater than actual cost right okay now move on to the second example here the same scenario is there these are the actual cost but we do not have to consider we have to consider heuristic cost name indicates greedy best fit search means we are greedy to find out the lowest cost so starting from a c here uh, g we this this is g okay so he see here from a we have three different routes a b c and d and again not necessary that you can make this you can write make a graph only which cost is lower but here i am explaining what is the b heuristic cost of b is 32 c is 25 and d is 35 right so where which one you have to expand c because the cost is lowest here right so a to c i can make a map here a to c right these are open now so this one from here c we have two different routes from here e and f now you have to check the heuristic cost of e and f e is 19 f is 17 which one is lower 17 is lower f is lower right so now we have to go to f so we have to expand f this is our in memory but forget about this we will expand this so from f there is only one branch which is going to our ending node or our goal so this is zero because from g to g is zero right then we will move on g so see what route we will select from a to c c to f and then f to g though we have different routes but this is our solution so what is the heuristic cost heuristic cost from a to g is 40 what is the actual cost f of n actual cost is a to c is 14 c to f is 10 24 and then f to g is 20 44 so in this case our heuristic cost is less than our actual cost which is fine right but this is not the optimal solution but this is acceptable so i hope the concept is clear right okay now what are the four performance measure first is the completeness so this is no it's not completed optimality right second is optimality so optimality in this case is yes or no both in greedy best fit if both are equal we can say optimal solution but if the heuristic value is less than so no if you want optimality then you have to consider a star algorithm which we already had discussed and then time complexity and space complexity order of b raised to power d in some books you will see b raised to power m both are same b is the branching factor how many kids are there right or branches are there and d is the depth just like from a to c c to f f to g these are the breadth and this is the space so these are the performance measure of greedy best fit search i hope the concept is clear please practice it subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching